Babe, why are you so close to that dirty homeless man? Babe, I was just waiting for you. He looks like someone I know. I just wanted to give him some change. You mean you went to talk to a drug user on the street because he looks like someone you know? Why do you keep giving these people money? I've told you a million times, don't give my hard-earned money to homeless people. They're all drug users that don't work. All they do is sit by the road and beg for the next fix. Not all of them are drug users. Don't say that. There are so many reasons why people are homeless. Mental illness, poverty, sexual or physical abuse by a family member. Please don't say that again. This guy just looks familiar. What if it was your family member? I don't care, Gia. And you're making this conversation hard. If you knew him, then why would you have a druggie to our house? Oh, wait. He's your ex-boyfriend or you're flirting with this homeless guy. Please tell me. Babe, are you okay? Can you stop this? You're going overboard. I can't believe what you just said. <sighs> Let's get out of here. You're creating a scene. Hi, Miss Williams. How are you? It's so nice to see you again. Meet Chris, my fiance. Hi. Oh my God, Gia. You are such a beautiful young woman. It's so nice to see you. I'm here to see if I can find my son, Gary. Do you remember him? He was doing an internship in the same company after his finance. Oh, I remember him. Hmm. I don't know if I would recognize him. It's been a long time. He usually stays in his office and was pretty quiet. I bet you won't recognize him now. After his internship, he went on to become the CEO of a hedge fund. He worked hard, made a lot of money, married with two kids. A few years ago, he got very ill and his wife left him and took the kids. Wow. I'm so sorry to hear that. Is he in the hospital nearby that I can visit? No, Gia, he's homeless. He has schizophrenia. He won't take his medications, so his symptoms make it difficult for him to live at home. He's very paranoid. He feels people are talking through the walls and listening to his thoughts. He hears voices, sees things that are not there. He thinks everyone in the family is in a conspiracy with the government to kill him. I come here to bring things for him to eat. Sometimes he'll eat them, other times he'll just throw them away. I'm so sorry to hear that. Do you want us to come help you find him? Yes, let's go and look for him. I don't think he'll recognize you. Gia, I cry every night seeing my son suffer so much. He worked hard, made millions, still making a lot of money with assets, but lives on the street because of his illness. I hope someday he'll stop refusing treatment and agree to go to the hospital with me. Have you tried calling the police to get some help? Yes, that made him so mad at me. He was in for a week, got a little better, came out of the hospital, stopped taking his treatment, and we are back to where we started. Bye, Gia. Babe, I'm so sorry for the way I spoke to you about giving money to Gary. I'll never look at a homeless person the same again. I can't believe an educated rich millionaire like Gary can be homeless and on the street because of mental illness. Today you taught me a great lesson on compassion and never to judge a man by his appearance. Thank you.